Biology 311 as a course was born out of the misinformation and the confusion that has been circulating for a long time, but really became obvious to me and, and prominent um, in early 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic. We saw a lot of confusion, a lot of questions that people had because they didn't know where to go to get the right scientific information. We spend the first two to three weeks talking not about microbes specifically, right? not about how bacteria work, how viruses work, but we, all, we, we actually talk about how science works. The class aims to inform or, or educate a non-biology major student in the basics of microbiology. So what bacteria are, what viruses are, what fungi are, how they work, what, what they do for us and for the environment, so the benefits of these microbes. And of course, it also talks about microbes as agents of disease. Chico State students are very curious. Um, and they trust their faculty. It's been very rewarding for me to be that person who can, it's been a little bit humbling at times as well, but to be that person who the students can see as um, an expert in these things. Um, and so for the first time, being able to ask those questions of somebody who has that training and being able to, to be that person who um, helps the students sort through these thorny issues and not just giving them the correct answer, um, but backing that answer up with data. We want students who graduate from Chico State to be broadly educated, well-rounded, and well-prepared for life as a citizen of California, as a citizen of the United States. We, we really are, throughout the semester, trying to focus on um, discussions and activities where students can become better critical thinkers, be able to um, critique sources of information, and analyze those sources of information to see whether the student should internalize that as, as a part of their knowledge or understanding, or whether they can reject it based on data and evidence. So these are skills that, that everybody needs. These are skills that we need more of. We need um, students who are informed and educated, able to think critically, so that after the semester is over and they've forgotten what the cell wall of a bacterium is, or the spike protein of a coronavirus. They've forgotten those things that may not apply to their future careers. They'll remember the critical thinking skills that they've learned. So these are the kinds of skills that we really try to hone in our students at Chico State. Um, and it's, it's the support of not just uh, Chico State and of the California State University, but the California taxpayer in funding this institution that helps to promote and develop those skills that our students and our citizens so desperately need.